completely insane right now. I dribbled whatever this is down my top. Don't look too close. Crazy, crazy, in, crazy. in like a legit crazy way. I'm like, I'm like creepy uncle laughing, like wheeze laughing. <laughs> Our apartment is such a mess. Do not show the apartment. No! There's nowhere to go to not show it. This is the real stuff. Hi, it's Victoria. Rose, hi. Welcome to another messy day of my life. Today has been a really difficult day. My chest has been super tight lately with like a lot of anxiety. Today I'm going to get my, get a, a face peel. It's like for bad skin. I have really bad acne skin like I said in my previous video. Obviously it's an insecurity for me, but also today is just a really bad day in general. I still wanted to do this anyways because I need to get out of this place, but, but sometimes it's like, I'm chill, I'm chill, I'm chill. And you know, I'm, I'm reassuring other people, but then I'm just like, then I then I just get anxious on the inside. I just I don't know how to vent or anything. But basically, we've been um, trying to move out of the place we're at right now for the past like half a year, and it's not been an, like a, the greatest place to live ever. There was some personal stuff that went down with my roommate, and she had a lot of issues and like really really hard stuff she had to go through, and I, it affected our ability to pay rent on time. So now we have. I didn't even know they could they check rental history, but apparently they do, and it's just really bad. So we applied to an apartment that we're trying to really move into, and we got rejected for it. And we already put our notice into this one. So basically, we have nowhere to live in two weeks or less than two weeks. But I'm just right now. I'm at a point where I'm tired. I'm so tired. I'm so fucking tired of just trying to survive every fucking day. It's like, I just, I don't want to feel this pressure in my chest anymore. It's just so frustrating. I know a lot of you guys will say, move out of Los Angeles, blah, blah, blah. No, it's not that. It's just, this is life. This is life and this is how, this is how it goes. I'm strong, I'm strong, I'm strong. I need to be weak sometimes. I'm strong, I'm strong, I'm strong. It's fine. And I'm here to encourage and support you guys, but right now I'm super stressed out. There's more to the story than just that, but that's like, it's just difficult. I just feel like I'm in a prison cell sometimes. It's great being poor. <laughs> Maybe it'll be relaxing to get my face peeled off. <laughs> this is gonna like just a pile on top of everything. I'm just gonna like, but I know like my skin really needs this and I've been wanting to do this for so long and I finally got the opportunity to. So I'm going to take it and I'm really grateful. And I'm gonna show you guys the whole process of this. I love you. Thanks, Thanks for listening to me. I, I, I appreciate you so much. mention about the apartment thing is that our landlord was the one who gave us the really bad review or whatever and not all of it was even true. So this is kind of all the stuff that I'm going to be putting on you. Okay. So. What's this thing? <laughs> okay. What is it called that we're getting done right now? So basically we're going to do a heavy peel today. So the first step I'm going to do is this Clarify Mask. It's a 20% salicylic acid. The next part I'll do a 20% glycolic. Then I'm going to do about six layers of this. This is a Jessner solution. So it's 14% salicylic, lactic, it also has citric, kojic acids in it as well. So this is really going to be the kicker. I'm going to do a 4% pure retinol. I don't know what any of this stuff is, but it sounds cool. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan you heard there. I'm going to film a little bit of this and then I'll also show you guys what it looks like when it's peeling because I know that's why you came. So we clean the face. Next step. <laughs> so right now it burns quite a bit. In case you guys wondered, it burns. <laughs> Just due to um, basically the top dead cells detached. Okay, so morning and night, wash with this. You can use this to moisturize. 
Aquaphor is amazing for sealing in moisture, so after you apply your moisturizer, you can put some Aquaphor on at night. This is a Clinicalm 1%, it has a little bit of hydrocortisone, so if you start getting itchy because of the peeling, apply a little bit of that, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. And this is a broad spectrum SPF. Okay, perfect. So this is a little pack that she puts together for after peels, which let me show you what I look like now. <laughs> pretty shiny. I'm nervous to see how much I'm going to peel, but I'm pretty excited about it. It's going to be hardcore. <laughs> But yeah, so that's that's kind of the process of that. I'll update you guys more in the next week. So make sure that you guys visit the links that I post down below. All right, so I am lit by a Himalayan pink sea salt lamp right now because our light is not fixed in our bathroom. It's been dark for a few days because the maintenance won't come and replace it. But what just happened, and the reason my hair is up like this, and my face is peeling because the chemical peeled, by the way, is... <sighs> I, I text my landlord, they said they wanted me to shut off from 10 to 12 today, and we're like, okay, whatever. And it didn't get, and then now it's like 3 o'clock, so I'm like, I texted the landlord, I'm like, the water's not going to be shut off, right? He's like, no, we're going to reschedule that for a different day. I'm like, okay. So then I, I proceed to bleach my hair, Deny starts bleaching my hair, and then I'm like, okay, cool. And then we go to turn the water on, and the water shut off. Just, we made sure before we did it that the water was on, the water is shut off, and I'm just like... No! And and so we had like a, a a jug full of water and I'm like, I'm just gonna start I'm just gonna I'm gonna start rinsing with this, did I you have to go to the store and, and, and get some get some more water. So she ran to the store and here I am over the bathtub trying to rinse in the dark, trying to rinse my hair out, just like oh please, please did I come back? And then like I hoped that she'd get back before my hair fell out. And it all it all worked out in the end, but I just wanted to explain, just in one small circumstance, why we don't want to live here anymore. Okay, so it has been, I think like two days since I've gotten the peel and it is starting to peel now. I'm like, I'm like, whoa, it's actually not peeling. And then it started to peel. Just like ignore. All right, so this is, oh, it looks so bad right now. So this is like the Thursday, I got the peel on Monday. So this is Thursday now and it's really starting to peel. I can't really go out or do anything. I'm going insane. Like, I went out to the gym yesterday, even though it was still peeling, and it was kind of just like, don't look at me, don't look at me! <laughs> I just hope that it'll be done soon, I don't know, like, this is... It's for a purpose, but yes, the peel's real. So this is Saturday, so it's been like five days now, five or six days now that I got the chemical peel, and I have makeup on right now, or I try to put makeup on anyways. Doesn't look good doesn't look good at all. It's definitely still pilling. So I'm going to probably make another video after this one of how it actually all turned out because it's, there's still a lot to peel. And I'm just going to end this video now. I love you guys very, very much. Stay extraterrestrial and stay with me here. We got this. I'm going to try to go out in public like this.